Hello and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a lightsaber out of PVC pipe. And this is, uh, it's pretty hefty. The one that I'm actually making has lights inside of it. Now, it is your option if you would like to have lights inside of yours or not. It's just an extra added expense, but I will be showing you how to do that. And it will also include a blade, a detachable blade. So let me go ahead and attach this. So yes, you have an optional blade with this as well that you can change color and you pick any color that you want. Has multiple different colors to pick from. It's just cycling through multiple colors now. But this is what we're gonna be building in this video. Again, the lights and the tube are extra, but they're there in case you want to see it. So let's go ahead and get started on how to make this lightsaber. Okay, so first off, I wanted to use this battery pack in order to charge my lightsaber and keep it charging. And it's just a uh, remote battery pack. It's a charging station. And I decided to take the end of one of my PVC pipes and put the charging deck there, or at least the cable running to the charging deck. That way I can recharge my lightsaber, not change batteries. For the end cap, I actually use the bottom of the tube that I picked up. It's a polycarbonate tube. I picked it up at the hardware store for like $3. And it's the smallest tube they had. It's meant to go over some UV lights, but Anyway, I had the cord running through the bottom of the PVC pipe going through an empty cork or a cork cap that I had just laying around, cut a hole out for it inside the cork and glued it in place with some hot glue. That way I can plug that into the bottom of the PVC pipe and glue it in there and then we will have a charging deck that will run the cable from that USB port into the battery pack and allow for it to charge. So as you can see right here, this is a USB extender. All you have to do is just plug that in. And when you plug that in, it will run straight to the power deck and then you can plug the other end into a charging station. So with that cable in place, I need to first find out how long to make my PVC pipe for the handle. And this is just the simple basic handle. I have a sketch of the lightsaber that I'm going to be using. Right here, I'm testing out the lights. We can see the lights work with the battery pack. And I'm going to be testing out to see how long I need the PVC pipe to be for the bottom part of the handle. So I went ahead and cut it out there. Now this is a part where you're going to need some kind of cutting device, a saw, a knife, something like that. So if you're working on this and you need help, try to get help from your parents or if you uh, have access to a saw, let them work on that. You don't want to do anything dangerous. So yeah, we just go ahead, screw that in there to the base of the hilt. And as you can see, we are moving right along. Now the next thing that we're going to be adding in, I am going to be adding in these holes so you can see the uh, crystal inside of the saber blade. So all I did here, I just drilled out some holes, cut some straight lines across it, and then sanded it down to make it nice and smooth. Now once I had that, I would go in and I would move up to putting the crystal in there. So I'm actually taking the crystal. The crystal is made out of some hot glue sticks I just cut to shape and then put some hot glue down and basically shove the crystal shapes into the glue. And I put a paper clip in it. So I cut the paper clip to size, put it on the cork. And now I'm going to be using this M&M container that I picked up at the dollar store for Easter. And it fits that perfectly fine. And I first cut it to make sure that it's going to work, do a little demo test with it before I cut it to size. And I cut a slant in it for the cable to run back behind it, as you can see right here. And turns out that it works quite well, fits over that perfectly. So now I'm gonna cut it down to shape, get it the right size, make sure it fits into the handle Yep, it's in the handle and we're going to cut it down to size. So 
So now that we have it cut down to size and the cable running out through the back, we are going to go ahead and try to attach the handle and possibly work on the lights. So we have the lights installed around the crystal. We want to have that on there so whenever it glows or the lights turn on, it's going to look like the crystals are glowing. Now, whenever I plug this in, I, you will notice that you can see the lights through the PVC pipe and this will not happen whenever we paint it because we're going to put a few coats of paint on the handle so it's going to block out the lights from showing through it so at the final product you won't be able to see those dots of lights in there you'll only be able to see the crystals now to attach the bottom part of the handle to the top part i'm going to add some super glue to it and you want to be pretty liberal with the super glue and i actually had to let it set overnight to make it completely cure but yes add the super glue to it and what i actually did is put some painters tape over it to hold it in place while it dried Now the reason why I chose to do this is so we could remove it later and if I ever needed to work on the inside of the saber all we had to do is unscrew the hilt down at the bottom and then everything else slides out. Right now I'm connecting the lights because the lights that I purchased they were $13 on Amazon and they actually came with some extenders and they were on a foot and a half strip each. So you had six strips that were a foot and a half long and they had extenders to go with it too. And I did that so I could have a strip down at the bottom to light up the crystal and then it's, uh, the rest of the strips in the blade. Now I went ahead and put the battery pack in the top part of the hilt and had all the cables run up through the bottom up to the top and connect into the power adapter or the battery pack. Then I ran the extra cable that would connect the blade to the lights up through the center of it and tighten it all down. If I ever need to replace a battery pack or anything like that, I would just need to unscrew the top of the lightsaber and I can access the battery pack. Next for the blade, I took a dowel rod and then I wrapped around the rest of the lights onto it. Now I've seen lots of people online take the strips and just go like a solid strip up and a solid strip back down the other side. However, I was afraid that that would give more of a strip light look instead of an actual circular look to the lightsaber. So I went ahead and wrapped it around a dowel rod. To diffuse the light, I'm actually going to be using some uh, plastic wrap and it's it's this clear sticky plastic wrap so it has a little bit of a tint to it it's a little bit of a clear tint I went ahead and wrapped it around the dowel rod just to diffuse the light a little bit now I do that so you don't see the bright white lights directly then after that I went ahead and wrapped it in a little bit of solophane solophane's easy enough to pick up the dollar store uh, dollar two dollars you can pick up a whole roll of it and as you can see here I'm wrapping it around at an angle and taping it ever so often just so I can get a good nice solid coverage on the dowel rod you want to make sure that you do this at an angle so that it will cover up the whole dowel rod because typically it's not going to have enough to cover it and you do want to tape it around whenever you do that just to make sure that it doesn't slide out whenever you're trying to put it into the polycarbonate tube which we're about ready to do Now this is the polycarbonate tube that I was telling you about that I picked up at the hardware store. It is a simple tube that's meant to go over some uh, lights and yeah, it uh, maybe $2 at the, dollars at the uh, hardware store. It wasn't very expensive, but once you get it cut to shape, you get it about the right height. All you have to do is just slide the lightsaber blade in. And then what we're going to do for the end, I actually have a PVC pipe that is just the perfect size to go over that part of the tube. I'm going to put it in there, super glue around it to hold it in place. 
and make sure that you run the light strip through that tube so you can have access to it whenever you attach it to your lightsaber blade. Now again, this is an optional thing. For the end to cap it off, I used a um, bottled water cap, so a cap off a water bottle and then just hot glued it in place and it filled it in quite nicely. Now to test out the lightsaber, I am just plugging in the lights to the handle. I'm going to uh, screw the top of it in to the hilt and let's go ahead and turn on the lights and test it out. Again, the lights you're at the base, you will not be able to see through it once we get it painted. But as of now, that is the basic, uh, basic hilt and basic lightsaber blade for the lightsaber. Going through the different colors here, turn the brightness up. All right, now at this point, I went outside and I spray painted some silver and a little bit of gold on the lightsaber in the areas I want. And now what I'm doing, I want to go in and add some black details into the rivets. And how I did that, I just took some black paint, watered it down, and then I painted over the areas that I wanted. And then I wiped it off with a rag. That way the paint settled inside of the divots and made it look uh, kind of like it's been used, worn. And then I wiped off the black excess paint and it just made it look like it had those black details in it. It was very quick, very easy to do. This is how you weather, uh, weather props to make it look like it's been, you know, been through a few lightsaber battles. Black paint, water down, then wipe it off. And as you can see, you no longer see the lights through the hilt. It is completely through the crystals and that's it. And finally, testing out the blade. Let me show you a little bit about this lightsaber, what I wanted to actually make with it. And this, as you can tell, it does light up, has all the different colors. We already saw that. But one of the main things that I wanted to have with this lightsaber, I have a actual lightsaber that I purchased back there, it was actually purchased for me. And I never liked how it had a bunch of batteries inside of it that you had to change out every now and again. And I always told myself if I would make one, I'm going to make it to where I don't have to break it open unless I absolutely need to. That is why I added in the charging port down at the bottom. Again, all this is extra. If you just want to make a basic lightsaber, all you need is some PVC pipe and a little bit of paint. That's it. That's all you need. It's nice, heavy duty, hefty. If you want to add in the lights, you can that's perfectly fine you can do that and I show you how to do that it's pretty simple but what I wanted to add in was the battery pack so the battery pack is actually inside of here battery packs right in here we have the lights here the cable to charge it's in the bottom it goes up it loops up through here goes back down and the battery charger is right there and the reason why I wanted to have it there instead of at the bottom is for this. If you notice, if you look down inside of the lightsaber, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in right here. And if you plug this in, 
you can see that there's a red light down inside of the lightsaber. That is telling you that it is currently charging. Now, whenever that light turns green, then it is fully charged and you don't have to have it on the charger anymore. And that's it. You don't have to take it apart to replace the batteries. And I love it for that. Again, this is, if you want to do this, you can. If you just want a basic lightsaber handle, it's all you have to do. If you don't want to have lights at all, all you really need is a polycarbonate tube and just some super glue. That's it. If you wanted to not go with the LED lights and wanted to go with something else, you could even use a flashlight. Flashlights work just as well. It would be kind of like a blue or white light, depending on what you have. But yeah, if you have it shining through there, like this, you can see it actually goes up quite a ways. All right. Well, thank you all very much. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you had, please let me know. Let me see your lightsabers if you did actually go through and create them. Thank you all very much. I hope you have a great rest of your day.